Oh my god, do you see this bitch? Look at her. She looks, ew, just crying over stupid shit she shouldn't be crying over, wiping snot off her face, just looking absolutely like shit, feeling like shit. So yeah, in clear need of a glow up. So if you guys are here for that, that's what today's video is going to be about, a full glow up transformation. We're talking hair salon, nail salon, brow lamination, waxing, makeup, cute outfit, anything to not look like that right now. So yeah, if you guys want to keep watching, stay tuned. And I forgot to film a before, like a proper before, so this is my before. So this is the before of my hair. This is how long it was. I originally had a perm for about a year, probably over a year now, but as you can see, it's really frizzy. There's still some curl pattern from the perm. It's actually not that damaged as I thought it would be, so it's still okay, but definitely need to get this changed. So I headed over to the hair salon. This hair salon is called Social Dry Lounge. And just look at the place. It's so cute. It's so bougie. It's so fancy. They even do runway shows sometime, but it's really cute. This is the cut. And this is where we're putting the keratin treatment onto my hair. We're making sure we're coating every single strand of my hair. And sorry about the footage. I actually used um, Snapchat filter on this because I was taking on Snapchat so I look a little different But while I was waiting they gave me some sparkling water while we let the keratin treatment soak in and then after that we hair dried everything to make sure that the keratin treatment is really Set into my hair and then after that we are going to do a final final cut. I ended up doing short layers on long length hair originally i was going to do long layers or medium layers but then i kind of got talked into short layers and the pictures did look really cute so i was like okay let's do that i need a big change but at first i didn't know if i liked it because it was such a huge change and i took i cut off so much hair you guys i wish i would have taken a picture but i didn't but anyways i actually really like this hair salon though and sunny who did my hair she's super nice she's super sweet and i love her so much and she always styles my hair perfectly so i would still highly recommend this place and it just took me a while to grow into my you know it just took a while for me to like grow into the hair but now i do really love it this is my hair immediately after i got it done and i was just taking this video in the car on snapchat again there's a filter just letting you guys know as you guys probably already do the left side is obviously with my hair done the right side is what i came in with the right side is how my hair was the condition it was and the left side is with the keratin treatment and with the drastic cut <laughs> This is the nail salon that I went to. It was called Pardon My French. Again, very nice looking, very bougie looking. While I was waiting, I decided to do the champagne and rose water pedicure. And the pedicure was honestly amazing. They use real champagne, which I didn't even know was a thing, but apparently champagne is really good for exfoliating your skin, which I did not know. And they also use real rose petals and it was just overall very relaxing. And honestly, the pedicure, I give that 100%. Moving on to the nails, however, I did Gel X nails, and if you look up really up close, there was leftover glue, because at first you might think, oh, this is really cute, but there was leftover glue, the application could have been a lot better. And if you guys look at how much I paid, this is how much, you guys. $172, $172. That is literally insane for nails. So, pause. Let's try this again. I then went to a different nail salon two weeks later where they removed the other nails and this is what they looked like but pause i couldn't really film in this nail salon because he was just moving so so fast and i just couldn't film any of the footage but i did film an after this is the after i love these nails i just got a simple color in this jelly pink color got them super short so i can type and i just love them they're super clean he made sure there was no glue left over he made sure that everything was shaped the way i wanted to and I just like these a lot, a lot better. And they were done way better th than the other ones. And they were only $55 for removal and to put these on. So today is the portion, the waxing portion of the glow up. We're gonna wax our face. I'm not gonna wax my armpits because I actually just went to the beach yesterday and I ended up shaving it because I am filming this afterwards. But um, I'm gonna show you guys some of the wax stuff that i use but don't mind like my acne that's going on right now because i just started going back to the gym 
like consistently Monday through Friday and I was taking this whey protein and um, whey protein makes me break out, dairy and whey protein makes me break out so I have to switch back to non, non or dairy free supplements and food. The reason why I was taking whey protein in the first place was because some of the drinks that I take like have whey, pro whey protein in it and it's really good for the gym and it helps me build up my muscle mass faster and it helps me reach my intake goals like protein, carbs, and calories and shit but it counteracts with my skin so I'm gonna just have to eat more like chicken, beef, potatoes, and dairy free things to reach my goal instead of taking whey protein and speaking of, I'm gonna drink a little bit of this please. but let's excuse that little tangent let's go back to what you guys are here for the waxing part of this video so I'm using this wax machine that I bought from Amazon you don't really need an expensive wax machine like you could just buy like a cheap one from Amazon this does the work I mean eventually it does stop working because it is kind of cheap but for the time being, it works, so this is from Amazon. I'm gonna use this wax. This is my absolute favorite wax company. It's called Mermaid Wax, and I will have their um, information up on screen here, like their website. It'll also be linked below if I can fit it. But if you guys have sensitive skin, this wax is what you need because for instance, I have such sensitive skin that anytime I go get wax at a professional place, I don't know what type of wax they're using or what, but I always break out from their wax. So I found this wax company online, and it's actually professional wax as well, but it is hypoallergenic, vegan-friendly, and cruelty-free, and it works great on my skin. I would highly recommend this wax for anyone who has sensitivity like skin sensitivity. We're gonna use these wax sticks. I prefer the bigger ones, even for my face, but we have a few different sizes. We have two packs of the bigger wax sticks and then like these small ones, and then I even have smaller ones for around the eyebrows and stuff, but we'll see if we need to use those. We'll just go with the flow and see what happens. And I, just a disclaimer, I'm not a wax professional, okay? So if you guys have any complaints, take them up with someone else or you're more than welcome to comment them, but I'm not really gonna care. Um, I'm using these alcohol prep wipes, if it focuses. I'm using these alcohol prep wipes to also like make sure my skin is completely clean. We're obviously gonna like exfoliate gently and also wash our face before we even wax, but I end up using this afterwards. I also have two different types of clips to clip our hair back. We're also going to put it up just to make sure like none of your actual hair is in your face because you obviously don't want to wax your hair off of your head <laughs> off. We're just waxing like the cheek, you know, like the whole entire face, but not this. So just make sure that you, you know, put your hair back. And these are also from Amazon if you guys want to get them, but yeah so i'm just going to heat up my wax don't mind the mess i have to clean my bathroom so bad but is this working right now Let's see. i already have a little bit of wax in here because i was waxing like two weeks ago because my face was hairy as hell and you guys i actually don't okay can this fit i actually don't shave my face because i know like the shaving shaving the face thing is really popular but i break out when i shave my face so i prefer to wax because then i don't get like those little bumps anyways i'm gonna put this on high to start just so the uh, wax melts faster and then we'll turn it down so we don't burn our face but this is what the beads look like and they have different colors like they literally have mermaid colors i don't know what that means but like you know like blue silver pink but i really like the black one because it's easier to see where you're laying it down then and i just you know put these in here and we're gonna use the rest of this and don't worry i have more and um, you should probably mix it with a spatula, but I'm just going to even it out so it, uh, so it melts evenly. And then we're just going to cover it while we prep our face. Alright, so to prep our face, we're just going to exfoliate with this Clinique 
um, exfoliation scrub. I don't know if it's focusing, but hopefully you guys can see it. It's a seven day scrub, so it's really gentle. We're just gonna exfoliate gently with that. Then we're just gonna wash with this, I can't pronounce it, with this face wash for sensitive skin. Well, for normal skin, but it works for my skin and my skin is sensitive, like I said, and then we will do the rest. For the most part, I just let my face air dry. I just make sure I'm not like dripping water, but I just let it air dry. And then once it air dries, we're going to wipe it down with the alcohol wipes that I showed you guys. And then we'll start waxing after we also clip our hair better. I don't know how this became a tutorial, <laughs> but I guess I'm just a really detailed person. But I'm just mixing the wax right now. And then we're going to turn it down. It's pretty much melted. As soon as I mix it, it'll melt completely. And then I'm going to turn it down. And then we're going to start, you know, getting prepared to wax. So this is going to be kind of difficult to show you guys. Because I actually prefer this mirror than the one by my sink. Because I can just get closer. I know I look absolutely nuts right now. But hence the glow up. Hence the glow up. I'm just going to use this alcohol wipe. I kind of try not to breathe while I'm using this. Because it's pretty strong. It's probably not like great for your face, but at least I know my skin is clean then and there's not going to be bacteria and I know I probably get a lot of shit for using this, but I'm just going to use it to wipe my entire face where I'm going to be waxing the areas that I'm waxing. I obviously avoid the eye area because I'm not going to be waxing my eyelids, so yeah, I just kind of wipe it all over and we're going to... Finally, start waxing. Oh, that one was kind of messy. Huh? It's okay, I'll fix it, I'll fix it. I'm not ready for this. It's gonna hurt. I haven't waxed in a while. I mean, I waxed like two weeks ago, but not my whole face, but like... I'm not ready to pull this off. Since I went this way, I'm gonna wax it, or I mean, I'm gonna pull it down because I went upwards. And I just kind of like go like that. Take a deep breath and rip it off, press it on. My face is not too, well, actually it looks hairy. I'm gonna try to show you guys up close. It's gonna look disgusting. Do you guys see those little hairs on here? That just came off my face. And now it looks disgusting. But that was how hairy my face was. Like we all have peach fuzz on our face. It just depends on your um, hair color. Like mine is black obviously, so it shows more on my face. But if you have like blonde peach fuzz, you can't really see it as much. But yeah, this needs to go. I guess we're gonna move back to this mirror because the wax machine is over here and I don't have an outlet. So it's just easier to wax my face here even though I normally don't wax my face in this mirror just because it's further away in my opinion but we're gonna do the next wax strip it's kind of messy because i didn't lay that strip down perfectly but i'm not a professional waxer okay so we'll clean it up though we'll clean it up don't worry i'm gonna lay the next one down and just do like a swoop and down okay the wax is not hot enough i can tell because it's not spreading easily so i'm gonna warm it up a little bit fix this little loop here. I probably won't show you guys the whole process of me waxing my face just because it would be a really long fucking video then. So I might just include like clips here and there or maybe do like um, a time lapse or whatever they're fucking called.
being waxed. It's mostly hair free now. I would say I did a pretty good job, but for some reason, this time when I was waxing, it was just so difficult, more difficult than the other times. I don't know if it's because I was filming it, so there was like pressure. But again, I'm not a professional wax. I just do what works for me. Anyways, we're gonna move on to brow lamination now. I'm honestly scared to do this brow lamination because I don't even know if it's gonna look good on me. But we're gonna attempt it and hopefully it doesn't turn out botched. But first I'm gonna trim my eyebrows a little bit and then shower and then do the brow lamination because um, you're not supposed to get your face wet for 24 hours after you do brow lamination. But I'll just show you guys the kit I got. So I got this Ariana, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, Ariana New York kit. Brow Lift Kit Pro Series from Amazon, and we're gonna use that. It comes with four boxes, one, two, three, and this one just has like little tools like this. And so yeah, let's trim the brows really quick though. So we're zoomed into my brows right now. They look crazy. My brows have always been so long, and they're not bushy, but they're really long. Like they're kind of, um, dense or what's the word I'm looking for sparse but they're long you know and I couldn't really like get the little hairs tweezed right here I tried to as much as I could but some of them are small too small so we're gonna have to wait for that but anyways we're just gonna like try to trim a little bit oh my god I'm looking so crusty I'm like can we just get to the makeup and cute outfit transformation already but unfortunately there's steps that we have to take so okay so pause first of all this brow lamination took forever like about an hour for me to film and if i included all the footage it would just be way too long and it turned into a whole tutorial because i tend to just turn everything into a tutorial so i'm just gonna voice over some of it and include some little clippets here and there so the video is not like freaking long so here I just coated my um, outer skin with Vaseline. I don't know if I did it correctly, but it's just to protect the outer layer of skin. And then we applied packet one to my brows, which smelled like shit, by the way. It was like strong formaldehyde, which makes sense. I'm pretty sure it has formaldehyde in it, but I just put that all over my brows, then covered it with plastic wrap here. After you cover it with plastic wrap the first time, you wait about six to eight minutes, and then you would take it off after that and use packet number two but before we do that i kind of realized that my eyebrows were bleeding so yeah that happened but then anyways moving on we took that plastic wrap off and we put number two on it's just like this blue colored cream after we wiped off the one packet this is so hard to explain oh my god but anyways we put plastic wrap again and after that you wait another six minutes with the plastic wrap on, this is what the brows are looking at, looking like at this point. I think they look horrendous, but I think this is how they're supposed to look. I personally didn't like it at first. I thought I looked like a freaking witch, but obviously I went back and trimmed afterwards, but yeah, this is what they look like. Next step would be to take off the plastic wrap. So that's what I'm doing here. And this is what they look like without the plastic wrap. I thought they looked absolutely insane, but here they are. And anyways, after that, you would take off all the lotions and cleanse it. It says to use a cleanser. I just had face wash, so I just used face wash and water, but really just make sure you get every part of that lotion off your face because it will burn. And so that's what I did. And then I went in with packet number three after that. And that is just an oil-based nutrition that helps moisturize your brows because after you do this, your brows will be super dry. So this is an after of my eyebrows. I mean, do you guys think it looks better or worse? Cause I'm not really like feeling it, you know? But maybe, maybe, I don't know. Like I think this one is okay. Like the right one, this one. But this one is like, I don't know what's going on with that one. That one's like on a different, I don't know. This one's in a different world. But yeah, this is the after shot of my eyebrows and I can't get them wet for 24 hours. So um, I'll probably do like makeup and everything in 24 hours for the full transformation. But yeah, I can't put makeup or get my eyebrows wet for 24 hours, so we'll be back with the full glow up later. Oh, we still gotta do makeup too. I might film a little bit of my 
makeup, but we'll do that after after the time has passed. Okay, you guys, what you guys have all been waiting for today is the glow up day. It's been long enough for my brows now, about a day and a half, almost two. As you can see, there's a little bit of irritation still. I got this fucking zit from, I'm pretty sure it was from the um, chemicals or whatever, but there's still irritation here. There's a little bit of redness irritation here, but I would say that they're slowly growing on me. Moving on, today is the day that we do makeup, hair, outfit, and the final reveal of the glow up. So first, I'm going to just blow dry a little bit of my hair. I'm not gonna blow dry the whole thing. I'm just gonna blow dry my bangs and stuff and a little bit of it so I can put the rollers in. I'm just gonna do three rollers and then we'll do the makeup while the rollers are in and the rest, so yeah. So I'm going to be using these Velcro, Velcro rollers from Amazon. They come in small, medium, and large. So small, medium, and the large one. I'm just going to use this size because this worked out well for my hair. So I'm going to put that in really quick. So pretty much this is the process I did my makeup in. I'm not gonna include the footage. I'm just gonna do a time lapse because I honestly went into a whole tangent rant and I took about an hour and a half to film this. It was a lot of footage, so yeah. I'm just gonna let you guys slowly watch me glow up. Pretty much I just use concealer. I didn't use any foundation, just concealer. I just like to use it all over my face. I don't know why, but I just prefer that. Yeah, so I use concealer, um, what did I use? Blush, eyeliner, eyeshadow, mascara, powder, and I did my eyebrows, I used lip liner. Yeah, that's pretty much the stuff I used. If you guys have questions on anything I used, any of the products, comment below and I will respond with what I used. But yeah, um, I didn't really do the best on my makeup. Honestly, I could have done better with the eyeshadow, but I'm not really that good at doing makeup. So this is just a time lapse of me glowing up. straighten my hair like this bottom portion and then the makeup is kind of done-ish we'll just do like touch-ups make sure everything looks perfect and then we'll do a final reveal after the hair and everything <laughs> spray it really quick this is just the do-over you guys probably can't even see that the do-over spray by Kevin Murphy I don't particularly like this spray that much because it doesn't hold as well like it does hold but it's more of like a finishing spray it's not really like a hairspray hairspray where it will hold but it does have some hold to it like a little bit are you guys ready for this let's take out that one first, I guess. I'm just gonna pull it out. Bam. Don't worry, we're gonna move it around, but just bear with it for now. Let's take out this one. I usually do it inwards just because there's more volume, but let me just fucking fix this whole situation right now. Because right now it's looking like I have like a fucking, I don't know, I look like an anime character or something. <laughs> Okay, some volume here because right now it's kind of flat. This works a lot better with like a small, um, a small um, flat iron, but I don't have one. I only have a big one. 
need to create like more wave right here, maybe a little bit. Alright guys, it's time for the final reveal in 3, 2, 1! Okay, you guys, I think that is it for this video. I think that's wrapped up. I think we got our shots. And if you guys like this video, please comment, like, subscribe. And I will have the number up on the screen of how much this glow up costs. I'll put it right here. And it was much needed. And I just want to also say that you don't need to spend that much money to have a glow up. You can glow up in so many other ways physically, emotionally, all different types of way, but I just needed this change and did the hair change. For me, like I just wanted something different because I felt like my long hair was weighing me down. It was carrying all that negative energy from all the negative stuff that happened and this was a much needed glow up and it definitely made me feel better, I will say that. So again, I hope you guys like this video and I will see you guys my next one. Bye. First time that I met you, I didn't have a damn clue. I love everything about you. Now I can't think of life without you.